Hey, what's happening? You one Sir James coming at you guys with another video. In today's video, I have another haul to share with you guys, but rather than do a GameStop haul like I've been doing so many times this year, we're gonna go ahead and change it up a bit. This time we are gonna do another haul, but this time through eBay. As you can see, I have two large boxes, two small envelopes. Before I go over the pricing in terms of what I paid for each individual item, I do want to go ahead and let you guys know that this is actually my legit first ever in my entire life for the 27 years I've been alive that I've actually had a massive haul from eBay because every once in a while I might order something. Like for example, I just order this um, 15 foot extension uh, HDMI cable through eBay, but it's usually small items like that. I never really accumulate enough items to consider it an eBay haul. I think this is going to be justified. I also have another item, but that doesn't come in until next week because I just ordered it yesterday and I thought it was a pretty good deal. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I'm going to keep it as a surprise. Let's go ahead and get straight to it. So uh, first off, as far as pricing in terms of what I paid, this large box on the bottom here, which we're going to save for last, I paid $75 free shipping. This center box here, which we're going to go ahead and open up first because this one I'm a bit curious about because the seller a little bit shady so i'm a little bit skeptical about this one but this one i paid 45 dollars free shipping this large package here i paid 15 dollars free shipping and the small one here i paid three dollars and free shipping as there's a theme here free shipping i always go for that because sometimes you might find a really good item but next thing you know the shipping is like 20 bucks 40 bucks whatever the case may be so we're gonna go ahead and get started with this box right here So um, I haven't opened it all the way because um, the stupid mail person left it in front of the gate. We have like one of those uh, electric gates. Uh, basically, you can't open it unless you have the gate opener. And the stupid person left it in the front where someone could drive by and pick up the package. Luckily, I came home a little bit early for lunch. So again, here is the box right here. It's actually a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be. So let me go ahead and fully open this because the person used a... Um, Amazon Prime box. So I was like, I didn't order anything through Amazon. My parents wasn't sure if it was one of theirs, but I just kind of popped it open a little bit, peeked in there. I was like, yep, that's my package. All right, so what we got. All right, cool, cool. All right, the only reason why I'm smelling, make sure there wasn't any funky odors because last time I ordered like a, a PS1 through eBay, the seller failed to mention that it came from a smoker's home and that thing reeked. I hate the smell of cigarettes. So um, yeah, there's a bunch of games on the top here, all have their cases. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. So we have Grand Theft Auto Vice City. So um, the theme of this haul video is gonna be PS2 related. We have Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Then we have Sly Cooper. And there's another one here. Sly Cooper and we have a Sly 3 as well. So I think he also had some loose games in here. So um, there's that one. Let's see, I don't hear anything loose in there. Uh, next up. These are a bit dirty, so I think they've been sitting in someone's attic. Uh, we have the Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monk. I do recall playing this one for sure. I rem yeah, I definitely have fond memories of this one. Uh, we have another Harry Potter game. We have the Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I wonder if they have the whole set in here. Because um, the basically what happened with this particular seller is that it was a pretty good deal. Uh, the seller had a 100% rating, but only ever sold one other item. And um, I was supposed to get the item last week, but the seller never shipped it. And uh, I guess the seller had some family issues, which uh, if it was family issues, I don't mind waiting. It's not like I'm going to be impatient, you know, make sure everything's well with your family first, of course. But just the communication level was on the weak side for the person. But uh, anyways, we have Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Uh, then, of course, this item wasn't expected until next week because they, they shipped it out two days ago. But glad to see here. Oh, there's a Soul Calibur game here. Sweet. I love Soul Calibur. We have Soul Calibur uh, 3. I don't think... No, I've played this one. Yeah. Or was it Soul Calibur 2? I can't remember. I don't think I've played this one. I think I've played Soul Calibur 1 and 2, but not 3, but I've played all the other ones. Uh, we have Guitar Hero. Uh, not really much into 
Guitar Hero, but there is that one. Then we have Grand Theft Auto 3 Classic. Love this one. I think this is my favorite. I like this one and Vice City the most. Yeah, all these are definitely dirty. We have Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Uh, this one doesn't have a game in it. It's, unless if it's in the PS2. could be in the PS2, because I think this is what he used for the stock photo, but there's the case for it. Another Mortal Kombat guy. Well, this guy is a Mortal Kombat fan, so oh, I'm happy with that. So we have the Mortal Kombat Deception. Awesome, awesome. And there's one more game in here. This one is Jack 2. Oop, there you go. This one doesn't have the original cover art. And again, that one was missing a disc, so it could be in this PS2 system right here. Um, I guess before we get to the PS2, let's go ahead and get through everything else. Yep. I'm going to have to clean this up because it's a bit dirty and there's some... Uh, Something on it. it looks like paint. So we have the uh, controller. Again, the analog sticks seem to be in really good working order. Because sometimes, like, if you ever go to, like, those demo units in store, you know how sometimes people mess up the analog stick to where it's all funky. Thankfully, it's not the case here because, you know, Sony makes some good ones. Actually, no, there is an issue. Okay, so uh, the, the person, yeah, this is what I was a bit shady about because, again, the person only had one image. They didn't have any other images. They didn't, like, state what was wrong or whatever. They said that the PS2 was working, for one. Um, but they failed to mention that the uh, L1 button here is pretty much broken or just maybe in there too much. Maybe I could fix it, but it, it's jammed in there. So, uh, yeah, it's... Not a good sign. I mean, as long as the PS2 works, that's what I care about the most, and the games are here, so. Uh, we also have a yeah, dirty uh, memory card, a megabyte memory card, I was about to say gigabytes. <laughs> a little bit too much for that time. And of course, we also have the um, power source, audio, video cables, all that. And of course, we have the PS2. The PS2 is Definitely dirty. The person did put clean, but this PS2 needs to be dusted out really good. And there's like this weird paint on here. I could easily get that off, not a problem. I just, uh, I'm gonna have to clean this up first. Uh, but the person did state it was working. Uh, buttons don't feel broken at all. This tray seems like it's intact. Uh, again, I think, again, pretty much more than likely it's just been sitting in someone's closet or in the attic and they just like hey I want to sell this and there you go so again there it is I'll let you guys know in the comments if this works or not hopefully it does um, but yeah not too bad for $45 again the only issue here is the controller but with this box right here a controller shouldn't really be an issue for me but other than that not too bad Okay, so where we're at, so, battery's almost dead, huh? All right, so let's go ahead and get to the envelopes here. Starting off with the small one. I pre-opened it so we didn't have to take too long. So the first one that we have here is the Medal of Honor Frontline. Another fun game that I have fond memories of, just had to pick that up, like I said, $3 free shipping. But the main reason why I wanted the PS2 again, besides some other games, this is a main series right here. That is the SOCOM series. Let's see, I think these are out of order. So in here, the, this is a series that deserves a remake or an HD collection on the PS4. I would love it and enable the online option because Sony kind of disabled it. And that's the SOCOM series. So we have SOCOM. U.S. Navy SEALs, SOCOM 2, which many, including myself, consider this the best SOCOM game, especially when it comes to the online play, which unfortunately you can't play it online anymore. And then, of course, we have SOCOM 3. Then we have the SOCOM Combined Assaults. And, of course, other games within the series, you also have a series on the PlayStation Portable. And, of course, along with that, you also have the... Um, the um, 
SOCOM 4 on the uh, PlayStation 3. I was about to say PS4, but there's no PS4 version. And there's also the SOCOM Confrontation as well, which was also another fun one. I didn't like SOCOM 4 that much. I know some people have mixed opinions on that one. I thought SOCOM 4, in my opinion, was like the weakest one. So there's that one. And last but not least is the small box right here. Or not really a small box, more like a large box. This one's freaking heavy. So uh, let's go ahead and open this up. You're gonna notice the red tape on here because uh, my parents opened it and I was like, why'd you open it? That's my package and uh, I had them seal it up so I didn't see it. So I'm looking into this the first time as well. So we got peanuts, uh, it's, so the first thing, um, I do recall that for this one, they had the power cable, which is right here, but they didn't have the um, the audio cable, um, not the audio cables, uh, or the audio and video cables, which the other one did, because they all use the same connection. So there's the power cable. Um, we got two controllers. We have one PS2 controller, so there's that one. And everything on this one, is actually intact, so there's no broken button buttons on it. It just needs to be cleaned up. It's a bit, um, a little bit dirty. And then we have a PS1 controller because of the uh, color back here. Looks like a standard DualShock 2, but that's how similar some of these controllers are. So is that one? This one actually is in very good condition, nice and clean. And even the joysticks move flawlessly, so there's that. Then we have the PlayStation 2 Slim. And this one is very clean. I don't see any dust or buildup or anything like that. So again, there is the PS2 Slim. Make sure this works. Oh, there's actually a game in here. Oh, they also included Medal of Honor Frontline. So I'd even have to buy it. So there's that one. And uh, next up, we got the games. There's a bunch of games in here. It's like half PS1 and half PS2. Uh, we are going to go ahead and start with the PS2. Uh, I'm not sure if my battery is going to die any seconds. It's blinking red, so uh, I want to try to make this quick. All right, so a few games here. We have the uh, Super Bike. I'm not really much into racing games. So there's that one. Uh, Gran Turismo 3, one of Sony's uh, popular series. Then we have NASCAR. Hopefully they're not all racing games or sports games. I knew there were some good titles in there based on the image. I just did like a quick glance and I saw like a big bundle and I bought it right away because I'm tired of getting outbid where every time I find something good on eBay and I go back to it, someone else has bought it. So, um, oh, here's another one I played back in the day, the NBA Street. Even though I say that I'm not into sports games, I do like the Street series. So like FIFA Street, and NBA Street. For some reason, these are just a lot more fun compared to the original sports titles. Probably because it's street rules. Uh, you don't really have any like penalties or anything like that. So there's that one. So I, I do want to get FIFA Street though. I don't, or maybe it's in here. Uh, next up, we have the Suno Cross 2, a, uh, another one. This is a, um, looks like the uh, a snow-based racing one, the snow ATVs. The next up, we have the X-Men Legends, the Rise of Apocalypse 2, or X-Men Legends 2, I should say. I don't think I've played this one. There's not that many X-Men games I've played. I remember playing like the old ones, like on the Sega Genesis and Nintendo systems, but I've never played this one. Gonna have to check that out. Uh, then we have the um, NHL, uh, not NHL, NFL 2K3. Wow, sorry, I'm kind of a bit drowned because I'm doing this on my lunch break, so it seems a little bit rushed, but I don't want to make the video too long. Here we go, another big title from Sony, God of War. We actually have God of War 1 and God of War 2, sweet. This is actually uh, a two disc set. So this has like some special behind the scenes, the leader levels, voices and all that. Awesome. 
Love me God of War, and I can't wait for the newest one, so hopefully we see something during E3. We have another Grand Theft Auto 3. Sweet. So whatever I have extras of or whatever I'm not interested in, I'm just going to throw off to the side and um, you know maybe offer it to someone or use it for trade leverage. Uh, then we have the SSX. Uh, Sing Star Pop. I don't think this game works unless if you have the mic. I've seen the mic for like a couple bucks, but I don't think it's something I'm going to play. Then we have the SSX3. I believe this is a series I have played when I, I've always waited, like when I was a kid at the dentist office, they had like a PS2 and they usually have like some racing based games. So I'm probably going to keep the snowboarding games for sure. So oh, we also have SOCOM, US Navy SEALs, Tekken 4, Tekken 7 just came out and you guys know not that long ago I got Tekken 3 on the PS1 so um, yeah I do have Tekken 7 I just haven't gotten around to playing it yet hopefully you're going to play it later today. Then we have the Grand Theft Auto Vice City so we have another Vice City copy actually we have two for some odd reason. Yeah, This one says double pack so I don't understand that. There's like a large poster in here and a map or a tourist guide. So, yeah, so two extra copies, I guess. So I now have three Vice Cities and two Grand Theft Auto 3s. So, uh, well, this case is busted. Look at it's all falling apart. Uh, but this one here, this one is um, Virtual Fighter 4. Um, so there's that one. Just, uh, yeah. Needs a new case. Then we have the Corvette. And they're supposed to be. Oh, here they are. We got two memory cards. We have one for the PS2 and one for the PlayStation 1. So there's that. So a nice yellow one so you don't lose it. I've always hated those moments where you go to like a friend's house and then you get home and you realize that you left your memory card at your friend's house and now you can't continue your save data. Always hated that. All right, now we have the PS1 games. Just gonna grab a handful really quick. So like I said, my battery is dying, so I don't know how long I have. Uh, we have Test Drive over here, uh, another racing game. That over here, I guess we'll put this over here. Then we have Tetris Plus. There we go, Tomb Raider. That's what I'm talking about. Love Tomb Raider, love the classics. Yeah, and I'm noticing that some of these have the original case and manuals and others don't really have the original cases, um, but the game is there. It just, um, they kind of added a piece of paper there, so it's not like a blank case. So, I mean, at least that's nice of them. Oh, here's another good one, the Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. Even though I usually suck at these when it comes to getting the collectibles and busting out all these tricks. Uh, then we have Vanishing Points. Never, heard, I don't know, this one sounds familiar. I may have played this one in the past. We have Oddworld, Odyssey, or Abe's Odyssey. Hey, we got a Star Wars game in here. I felt like these were lacking some Star Wars. I don't think I've ever heard of this one, or even played it for the matter. It's the Star Wars Demolition. So if you guys are familiar with that one, let me know. It looks like there's a lot of playable vehicles, and you can play as Boba Fett, looks like. I have to check that one out. And um, let's see, we also have a Tekken 3 in here. So now I have two copies of Tekken 3. Then we have Rayman. I love me some Rayman. I remember playing this as a kid on originally PC, I think it was. Then we have a wrestling game called Power Move. Now again, same with wrestling. I'm not really big into wrestling, but there was a version on the Nintendo 64 that I have fond memories of. Can't remember which one it was though, but like I've always created a character that looks like a ninja and just a lot of fun. Then we have Wheel of Fortune. 
Not my cup of tea, but I'm sure something that my parents would probably play. Oh, here's another one, A Bug's Life. I remember this one. The levels I hated is when you had to deal with that one insect, Thumper. Always pissed me off as a kid. And then we have Madden 98. Man, they were just getting going back and back in terms of the uh, sports. Then we have Moto Racer. Sweet, another Rayman game. Rayman 2, The Great Escape. I don't think I've played this one. I've only played Rayman Legends and the first Rayman game, so I'm looking forward to playing that one. It looks like a puzzler game. We have the Turnabouts. You could create your own custom levels, and there's over 150 levels to master. And that is my phone through OfferUp. Maybe it's that one guy with the uh, Sega Genesis I'm after. I see The Land Before Time, Return of the Great Valley. Um, let's see, Descents. Never heard of that one. I did enjoy the movie. Never knew there was a game. Space Jam. Like, if some people have mixed opinions about the movie, I like the movie. Because it had Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck, so I'm always a sucker for them. Then we have the Drag Racing. Here's another fun game, Frogger. Everyone remembers Frogger. NASCAR 98. And we have Treasures of the Deep. Never heard of this one. Then we have Test Drive 6. Yep. Here we go, Duke Nukem. Fun one there. I think this is the version that they brought over to the Vita. Or maybe this is a different one. I don't know. I know there's a few different ones, so I'm going to have to check that one out. And then another Tomb Raider game. I've never played this one. This one is the Tomb Raider Chronicles. And that's pretty much it. So, again, that was my eBay haul. Like I said, that massive box that I just did, I paid $75 free shipping. The one that I started off with was $45 plus the two smaller packages. Overall, I think it turned out pretty good. We have a, a few extra copies of certain games, uh, nothing too crazy. And there's just a small handful of games that I'm probably not interested in, which I'm probably going to maybe use for trade or something like that. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I do have one more other item that's coming in, uh, but that doesn't come until next week. And it's kind of a different... It's still gaming related, but it's not related to the PlayStation 2 family. It's related to, uh, well, I'm not going to tell you what it is because I might give it away because it's really not too many guesses. Um, but anyways, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys next time.